Hello, hello, your Pucker Up gal ready to offer some branding advice and share with you all what I've learned in the last six months. Um, so when you come on, say hello and tell me where you're viewing from so I can give you a shout out. I'm going to wait just a f just about a minute. I'm not going to wait too long. So I'm just going to quickly say thank you, Replay Watchers, if you come on here later. There might be a slight delay. A slight delay. Move my hair on my face. I'm not used to my hair being in my face. <clears throat> so I have plenty of notes in front of me. I am ready to share with you all some of the knowledge that I've learned. Um, I'm going to give a quick shout out to my sponsor and my friend Miss Chelsea Kenyon who happened to just be in <coughs> excuse me the most powerful woman in network marketing she was there for three days she was on stage spilling this important topic so shout out to her and also to my personal coach Mr. Brian Fryer who I also get tons of value from and that is why I'm here. I'm here to share with you all some of the things that I've learned. So let's see who's here. Hello, Tim and Carol. Nice to see you all. Well, I can't see you, but I can know you're here. <laughs> nice, very nice. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> nice to see you guys. I'm glad that you got to come on. I know you guys have busy, busy schedules. I know Lisa is grooming her beautiful little puppies. I love seeing those photos every day. Okay, so if this is your first time watching, I want you to comment with a one. And if this is not your first time watching me live, comment with a two. We're going to get started. Hi Megan. We're going to get started. I don't like delays. I don't like people having people come watch the replay later and have to like twiddle their thumbs waiting for the speech, waiting for the spill, right? So, <clears throat> so welcome to all the new viewers if this is your first time watching. <coughs> Let me just say something about myself really quick. Well, just a quick introduction, just in case you don't know who I am. Um, my name is Michelle Humes, and I go by Your Pucker Up Gal. I love lipstick, lip gloss, anything that has to do with making your lips beautiful, I love it. So that's why I've decided that that's what I'm going to be, is Your Pucker Up Gal. Um, I'm not only just that, I am a mom of five grown daughters. I have eight grandchildren. I have been in direct sales for a little over two years. I am not perfect. I am still learning right along with all of y'all. Um, hi, Bridget. Hi, Holly. Hi, Tina. Um, every day is a learning experience. Every day I try to dig in deep to learn something else, something new. And I like to start sharing some of the things that I have learned with my friends who are also in direct sales to help you all out because I think it's important to um, share what you learn. You know, you invest, you learn, and then you teach. And I think that it's very important to pay it forward and to just, you know, give back what you've learned to help other people. So, yes, Tim, we are forever students, forever and ever. There is there there is no way to learn it all. Um, you just have to keep going, keep plugging in, and keep going. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. Y'all have my allergies, so I'm gonna be sipping water in and out. <laughs> okay. So this live is going to be jam packed. I'm just gonna stick to the topic: what is branding and why it's important, and give y'all a few examples. I do plan on going live again this week on how to brand yourself. That'll be another topic altogether. Um, but just for today, thank you for the pounds. <laughs> just for today, I'm going to go over what branding is and why it's important to brand yourself. So if you want, you can grab a pen and paper right now. 
um, and start taking notes. You might want to start taking a couple of notes. You can come back and watch the replay and take notes. That's fine too. And I'll be looking at my notes because I'm a note taker, y'all. I love to take notes and go back and reread and relearn and just get it all up in here. Up in here. <laughs> and I didn't want to forget anything, so I did write everything down. So excuse me if I actually happen to look down at my paper because I don't want to miss anything that I wanted to share with you all today. And if at any time you find any value with this video and you want your team to also see this, or you might have friends in direct sales that are, let's say, spamming their page and you want them to see this, by all means, share the video. I will not be um, saying my um, business name. I will not be recruiting anybody or doing any of that. This is just an information only video, so it is okay to share. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. I decided not to put it up in a ponytail today. <laughs> okay, so. Who's ready for some branding truths? Comment three. Comment with a three so we can get started. I'm going to be going over um, some examples, and it's kind of going to be very enlightening. When I give you these examples, you're going to be like, you're pro if you don't know what branding is, you're, you're going to have an eye-opener, a really quick, easy eye-opener. So let's go over what branding is. What is branding? Branding is sharing the best of who you are. You as a person. Um, not you as a married person. Not you as a mom. Not you as a business person. You. You specifically. All of you. Um, it's okay. It's not being selfish. It's not being self-centered. It's not being um, cocky or of any sort whatsoever. It's all about figuring out who you are. Who Who is Tina? Who is Deborah? Who is Tim? Who is Lisa? You have to figure out who you are and then start to share that with your network. That is branding. Um, branding is not... Posting all day long um, product photos and sharing other people's stuff um, all the time. Um, doing those quizzes, playing game games on social media. That's not branding. That is just goofing around. <laughs> That's just goofing around. Um, yeah, it's okay. It is okay to um, share product photos, but... It's not a good thing to do all day long, and here's why. If you haven't branded yourself and you just jump into a business, let's just say you started today, you've never done direct sales, and you're told by your upline to just grab all those photos that your company has created for you, and that's all you do is post those photos on your wall. You're not branding yourself you're basically spamming your page and people are going to run from you. You're repelling people away from you. Um, the very first thing you need to do is learn how to brand yourself. And that's why you see those top leaders. It's okay for them to post stuff like that because they've already branded themselves. There's a big difference. So, Here's an example. I'm going to give you an example. And I want you to answer this question. If you know the answer to this question, comment below. When you watch TV and a cute, cuddly bear pops up holding toilet paper, what do you think? What are you thinking before you even see what the brand is? What are you thinking? What is it? Do you know the answer to that question? What is it? When you see, and if you know the answer, go ahead and comment. When you see that cute little gecko making all these little jokes and puns, and he's just strutting across the, uh, the TV, and as soon as you see him pop on and start talking in that cute little accent, what pops in your head? What does it make you think of? 
Does it make you think of geckos and animals and zoos? and Or does it make you think of something else? <laughs> Go ahead and comment if you know the answer. Here's the thing. <clears throat> Those companies are using something other than what their product is to brand themselves. They're using something else. And it's kind of the same thing for y'all is to use you. Use you as a person to brand yourself and to slide in the things that you're selling by sharing what they are, by providing value with the product and what it does. Um, it's different. Yes. Yes, Charmin. <laughs> Those are those cute little fuzzy bears, right? You think of Charmin. You think of Geico, the insurance company. And it's not, it's not even had anything to do. Those, those things, are the bear and the, the gecko has nothing to do with toilet paper or insurance. Has nothing to do with it. Nothing whatsoever, right? So, <clears throat> here's the point. What do you have to do with your products? If you're posting products all day long on your page, it'd be no different than if Geico or Charmin were to pop on the TV really quick and just show their product and say, you need this. Call for a discount. Who's going to call? Who's going to go buy it if that's all they did? It's the same thing. Branding you is the same. It's the same thing. Um, it's not going to get you're not going to get attention. Um, people will be repelled by it if you don't brand yourself. Um, so think of this. Think of this in the opposite direction. Let's say <coughs> that. Hang on a minute. I gotta flip my paper. <laughs> Let's say that um, you're watching the Super Bowl, right? Everybody watches the Super Bowl. Almost everybody. Millions of people watch the Super Bowl, right? They can't wait for Super Bowl Sunday. And it's only once a year, right? It just gear, you gear up to it, right? You're watching those games. You're getting ready for the Super Bowl. You're getting your snacks. You're getting all your friends over to hang out, right? Pretend you're the Super Bowl. You are the Super Bowl, Right? Now, let's just say that you're watching, your, your network is watching you, you're the Super Bowl, and they're anticipating and waiting to hear what you're going to post next, right? And they expect to see you. They expect to see your brand. They expect what they're used to. Lisa and her dogs grooming and... You know, she loves tacos and she does all these inspirational quotes. People are waiting to see that. Now, how, what would happen if all of a sudden Lisa decides in between the Super Bowl of hers, she throws in stuff that has nothing to do with her, nothing at all. She throws in someone else's brand, throws in someone else's posts or goes completely off wall. It's no different than if you were watching the Super Bowl, the actual Super Bowl, and it cut into commercial mid-play and you saw something you didn't want to see. It's the same thing. Branding branding you, it's the same exact format. Um, you'd be probably highly mad, <laughs> you know, sitting there watching the Super Bowl, eating your snacks, your chips and dip, and you're, you're watching this exciting play and all of a sudden, this it stops, and then this advertisement comes on and says, Oh, look at this. You need this. Go buy this. Oh, my gosh. you got to have it. It's the same thing. Same exact thing. That feeling you would have in the middle of the Super Bowl, when someone, if someone did that to your TV, is how you're making other people feel on social media when you're throwing all this stuff at them. So, hi, Susie. Yes, you do get crickets. And this is how you can tell that you're having a really difficult time branding yourself. If you um, do throw up a product post 
and the only people that comment and like on it are your business partners or your upline, then there's a problem. There's a problem with your wall, your page. You're not branded enough. Um, once you've branded yourself, once you've got that following, once you've maxed out your friends list, once you have a trusted network, you could throw out a product post and it won't it will not affect your page because you've already branded yourself. There's a big difference. Um so let me see if I got off topic. I'm just gonna blink up, blink up, blink up. So if you so far have gotten some value from this, show me some hearts or give me a pound or a thumbs up or a lip emoji, something in the comments. Um so <clears throat> Why is it important to brand yourself? Why is it important? For one, you want to stand out. You want your network to get to know you as a person, not you as your business. Because let's say for some reason you decide to leave the business that you're in and start something else. And you have branded yourself as a so-and-so girl. Um and you decide to leave and start something else, you're going to have a really hard time rebranding yourself. So branding you as a person, that's one reason why it's important. You want to be unique. You want to stand out above everybody else. You, do, you don't want to be the same as everybody else. Just because so-and-so shared a photo or... This person shared this quote or whatever. It doesn't mean that necessarily it belongs on your page. You should be asking yourself, is this a part of my brand? Um, I'm going to do a video on how to brand yourself. I'm going to do that this week. It's going to be a little detailed. Um, and it's going to help you figure out how to actually brand yourself. This is just an uh, information only what it is and why it's important. Um, you definitely don't want to be like everybody else. Um, you don't see top leaders that are sharing all the time everybody else's stuff. Now, sometimes they do, you know, special events happen and they're just excited and happy about their trips and stuff like that. And that is totally fine. But I mean every single day. All they're doing is going to other people's pages and grabbing their stuff and putting it on their wall. That's not branding. That's not branding you. So you want to be you. Yes, poo-poo on normal. You don't want to be normal. Yes, Tim, you definitely don't want to be normal. You want to stand out. You want to stand out so much that people see you differently than everybody else that's in direct sales. They want to see you as someone that can be trusted and <clears throat> that you're going to provide value and really help them. And you're not going to go and cold message them and beg for orders and stuff like that. You know, they, they, you need to gain the trust of your network and build genuine relationships with people. Social media, social media is a social site to socialize. It's not meant to be a platform to sell your products. It's not. Um, so branding you. Who would like, before I even finish this, um, who would like to have three quick tips? If you would like to have three quick tips before I actually end this video, um, kind of like a little introduction before I do my how, uh, how to video, show me a number 10. Show me a number 10 in the comments and I will share with you all three tips right now on how um, you can brand, start, how you can start to brand yourself. Hi, Monique. Hi, Monica. Hey, ladies. Hearts to you all for hopping on. 
If you'd like your team to see this, please share on your wall. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay to share. <clears throat> I will not be... I don't friend people that I have friends in common. Um, unless I get a friend request, if it's a different company, that's fine. But for anybody that's in the same company as me, if I get a friend request, I check to see mutual friends first. This is off topic really quick. I check to see who mutual friends are first. And if any of my friends are in the same business, I have a friend in the same business, I don't accept the friend, the friend request. It's as simple as that. I don't do that. So, okay. I see a few tens, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and give you all three tips right now. Three tips on what is actually hurting you right now. Okay, it's hurting your page. It is repelling people away from your page. Why you might not be getting friend requests. Why people may not be accepting your friend requests. So, here it is. One, take a look at your cover photo and your profile picture. If it has anything on it that has to do with your business and you have not branded yourself, you need to change it right now. You need to do something um, regular, completely regular, that is maybe inspirational, or maybe it shows who you are. Maybe you already know who you are, um, but definitely nothing to do with your business. Because if anybody goes on your page, they don't know you, and they the first thing they see is your profile picture and your cover photo. And the way direct sales is now, and it's just been so spammy for the last four years, people are repelled by it. They run fast. As soon as they see a cover photo with a direct sales logo or website link or whatever, they do not, ex they won't, 99% of the time, truth bomb here, they will not accept your friend request. So you need to change that. You can always change it back after you brand yourself. You can always change it back. That's why when you go to the top leaders pages, they got those awesome cover photos. They might have their link on it. It's okay because they have branded themselves. Just because they do doesn't mean it's going to work for you. <laughs> truth bombs. Truth bombs. Hi, Brian. Um, <clears throat> you want to gain the trust of your network. So, first things first, gaining several followers and successful, successfully branding yourself so that people do not run from you. Was that helpful? Drop a, drop a little, I don't know, check mark or a 100 if you can find one. I couldn't find my 100 the other day. All right, number two, number two. Oh, this one's really, this one's a doozy. Stop following what everybody else is doing. Stop copy and pasting. Stop sharing product photos all day, every day, ten times a day, five times a day. Um, it's just screaming spam. It's not genuine. It's not providing value. It's just screaming, I'm in direct sales, look at me, that is it, that's all I am. It's not branding, so stop copying what everybody else is doing. You need to find you. You need to find, yes, Lisa, you need to authentically be you. First, so if you're having trouble, and this this is a process. This is not an overnight thing. Um, believe me, I have had many months where I've had to to go back and you know check myself because I'm tempted. Believe me, I'm tempted just as much as y'all are. I see something and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is an awesome post. I want to post that, and then I. I used to do it. I used to post it in an instant. And now I have to stop myself. I have to stop and actually think and ask myself, is that a part of me? Does, does that match with me, who I am? Um, and that's very important. So, no more 
copy and paste and sharing what everybody else is doing. Um, unless you have a huge following and you've already branded yourself, it's okay to grab someone else, share it, and say, hey, check this out. You know, that's fine. Um, branding is the key. Number three, and I see a lot of this actually. Um, I see a lot of this going on and not just the one company I'm with in several different companies. Um, number three, over posting. Um, posting 10, 15 times a day. It's over posting. Um, sharing too much. People share way, way, way too much. And I mean, like, that's all they do. All their posts are shared posts. That's really bad. Really bad for your business if all you're doing is sharing other people's stuff and you have nothing um, genuine or generic that you've provided. People want to see you. They don't want to see everybody else. They want to see you. You're their friend, right? You need to stand out. So it's okay to share once in a while. I shared my sponsor's live yesterday because it was a great live. And she specifically said in the live, if you have someone that's already doing what I do, please go to them if they share this video. Um, something like that is great to share if you're supporting other people and you're trying to show support to them. So what happens is it's very confusing to your friends if, they're, if you're all over the place. If you're one minute, you're sharing all these happy, lucky, in inspirational posts. And the next day, you're sharing all this um, funny cat videos or whatever. Then the next day, you're sharing nothing but dog photos. Then the next day, you get, get what I'm do you, I'm just Do you see what I'm saying? You have to be very consistent in your brand. Um, so... If you got value from this, please drop me a number 20. How's that? A big number 20 in the comments. And if this was helpful in any way and you think this would help your network and your direct sales friends, please share this video. Um, and look for my live this week for how to brand yourself. That's going to be my next live. Um business live it'll be how to actually brand yourself I'll have plenty of details for y'all nothing will be left out I'm very real I'm just completely I'll just blow it out just say it I'm not gonna be shy um, that's about it that is about it for today I believe if you have any questions before then you're welcome to message me after this video um, no matter what business that you are in I like to support any direct sales friends who may be struggling. It doesn't matter that you're not on my team. So have a great day. Thank you, everybody, for coming on and watching and tuning in. I appreciate you all very much. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to see your faces, your little emoji faces again next time I go live. Have a great Monday, beginning of the week. And... What's the end? Anybody know the end? I know some of y'all never watched me before, so stay pucker up beautiful, even the dudes. God bless you all. Bye.